Welcome to another edition of Around Town, where we focus in on the people and the places of your community. And I'm Larry Seaman, your host. Today we're at the Field of Dreams Park, where we got a chance to interview a Beatles cover band called Forever Fab. And they had done a show here recently at the Field of Dreams, and they did a great job, and we thought we'd have a chance to talk to them, and they agreed to it. Now, the members of the band are Bob Hinsman, who plays drums and vocals, and Fran Hart on keyboards and also vocals, as well as Phil Donovan, who plays guitar and vocals, and finally, Kevin Dooley, who was not here for this interview, but we got a chance to talk to him in Pelham at a later date. So I hope you enjoy the show, and now, right here on our stage, Forever Fab. First, could you give me a little bit of background on you folks, as well as on the group and how it got established? Well, um, Forever Fab, we started last, last year. Uh, we've only been doing this since our second year. And uh, Bob, Kevin, and Phil playing another band. And Kevin and Phil playing a third band, so we kind of started working together. Bob, Kevin, and I did an acoustic kind of Beatles show uh, at, a, at a local cafe, and we started to play together. And I think he said he was auditioning me, <laughs> make sure I was going to work. And um, I want to make sure you can sing the harmonies, yeah. You know? <laughs> so it kind of just blossomed <clears throat> from that kind, kind of informal um, acoustic version that we did a few times up in a place in Groton, and then. We started talking about it more seriously, and could we really do this, and is it going to work? And we just decided we'd go for it. Yeah, it's just it's really it's it, it's to fulfill the passion of, of a music. Once a musician, always a musician. Yeah. So it's to fulfill a passion that we all we all have as musicians to just keep playing, to be able to play to people, because you just don't want to sit there and play in a garage all you know, all your life. You you want to make sure that you can get out there and, and perform, at least to, to 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 present the fruits of your labor. And all the rehearsal you've done, all the times you've been, uh, you know, taking lessons for those who've taken lessons, uh, but to be able to, you know, just uh, and there's an enjoyment that you get when you're performing in front of people. That's there's always there's something about uh, being able to to play with play for the audience and have them, you know, give back to you. Yeah. Um, Fran, myself, and Kevin all grew up together in Burlington. Fran and I actually grew up together as kids in Somerville. I think we seen each other maybe twice or something, and I moved to Burlington, and eventually he showed up, and uh, we all kind of hooked up together and, and, and you know playing music. And um, Fran uh, came to a couple of gigs that we were playing uh, with Kevin, myself, and Phil, and uh, we played some Beatles songs. And it, it really, we, Phil, myself, and Kevin were trying to figure out what we were going to do as far as putting together some sort of a, a Beatles project that we wanted to do, uh, and. We were trying to look for the, the the right guy, you know, someone who basically has the same passion that we do, uh, could play keyboards, which you can do, yeah. which can play guitar, which you can do, and which can sing. We started the project, we started rehearsing, and uh, we brought it out uh, last year, right? Yeah, yeah. And, like around February, March of last year. Yeah. yeah. And uh, it kept blossoming and blossoming, and we found ourselves where we are now. And. It, it, you know, playing in various clubs and various venues and, and obviously doing the, uh, the summer concert tours, which we, we really love to do. Oh, you should be glad. Ooh, he loves you, yeah, yeah, yeah. He loves you, 
My name's Philip Donovan. I grew up in Randolph, Massachusetts, and uh, um, from very early on, I had a, a great love of music. Uh, music in general was just something that was, I didn't just like it, it, it was absolute magic to me. And from day one, I, I started hounding my parents for, number one, a trumpet. And that was great in, in fourth grade, Herb Alpert had just come out, and you know, trumpet was pretty hot, marched in the band, but some about that electric guitar. There was something just really, um, some of the fellows in the neighborhood that played electric guitar, I, I would go and I would wait at their porch for them to come out and see if they'd bring their guitar out. And, um, well, so I was like a lot of... Have you figured it out? What, what is it about the guitar? That... Well, for me, at it, it first, before I understood electronics, I, I don't know if any of us totally ever understands electronics, but it was just that you could get this incredible like a lot of guitars were beautiful they were made out of beautiful wood they were sunburst and they had these things called pickups that picked up the sound and somehow something went through a chord and came out this loud amp and to me there, there was something amazing about this trumpet was just like but the electric guitar was this whole other thing and you could fill up a whole auditorium it was loud and it could be pretty or it could be really aggressive and powerful it's almost limitless what you can do with it yeah you could do you could do a lot of different things and back then there was a lot of great acts out that were good on guitar um number one it began and ended with me with the beatles yeah. i mean that was um they were really the pioneers and new great guitar tones and um, you know besides their fantastic harmonies and great songwriting that's what really caught me was all these sounds coming I knew it was coming from a guitar but just how they were doing it was another thing and I had to find out. Piano lessons at 10 I uh, had my dad buy me a bass at uh, 15 and uh, he actually got me an amp at 16 and um, started playing Beatles about that same time. As far as I'm concerned, I think we've got the right combination of guys in this band. We've got, you know, a lot of talent, absolutely a lot of talent in this band, a lot of experience. If you were to take the number of hours cumulatively that we've all spent playing, it would be thousands between us. So, I mean, we've, we've been around the block a few times. So. And all of us love the Beatles. I mean, the Beatles were our inspiration from a young age. So, so yeah, I think we've got the right, definitely got the right combination. 